Hello everybody and welcome back to another 10 minutes of bomber building action. Okay guys, this is what I got going. I got all this sanded. Now I'm going to peel my tape out of here. Because it's pretty flat. You can see if it ain't flat. You know what we don't want is a ridge. You know, coming up here. You just got to make sure it's all flat. If it's all flat, you're done priming. And just peel your tape out. Just like so. We're done with it. Dig it out with an exacto. See when you if you don't sand all the way down to this tape and you try and pull that tape out, it'll them edges will be chipped. And when you sand all the way down, you just got nice crisp, clean. Alright. Got that? And that black you see under there, that's my pencil mark. I marked it out with a pencil and put my tape over the top of it. That's what that black is. But that's alright, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. Now I'll stop sanding this with my 600 after I get this tape out. I'll hit it with some like some 1500. Finish it up with some 25. And we'll, it's ready to wax up. Wax on, wax off. Y'all know that story. <laughs> know what I mean? Bam. That is done. And that feels a good. Feels a good to me. What do you people think? Feels good. Nice, clean, crisp. See them lines? You know, it just came out so good. That little bit of black in there. That's just my pencil mark, you know. The rest of this all looks great. Okay, that's what I'm going to do there. Now that's ready to slick up mold. Still got to sand this piece. But I was kind of working on this over here too. Okay, I got my air cylinders. You know, all these all these are glued. And they just work great. Man, you can't, I can't. They fit shut so tight I can't hardly get my fingernail in there to open them. But I don't want to just glue them on there. I want to uh, put screws, you know, I've got to drill a little hole, put a little flat spot, oh, excuse me, just drank me a soda, coming up in the burp, but I want to get some nice flat spots in there, and I'll show you how I did that, okay, came over here to the old drill press, I got my Brad Point drill bit on there. Okay, that's just a regular drill bit, but it's got a brad point on it. Ain't wanting to focus in too good. But that's it right there. 
Okay, and that's just going to drill me down a little flat spot. Okay, so I can get a flat spot. So I can put a screw in it. See how that's doing that? Just going down flat. Until I get that whole area flat spot in there. That way I can put a screw in it and it just won't be glue holding on there. We all know how much pressure them air cylinders have, see? And just take it, see that nice little hole right there? Now I just come over here, that way I can put me a little epoxy on there and put me a screw down in there and these will handle that air cylinder without popping off. You got to think rugged, I'm going to charge my battery, rugged reliability man, these things are popping off all the time, that would just be a hassle. You know, but bam. Now I could put me some epoxy on there, put me a couple screws in them, and uh, them things won't go nowhere. Nowhere is it all. Know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? Remember that Vern commercial? You know what I mean, Vern? It's funny. get something glued with epoxy you know and it pops off it just never unless you really get in there and you clean every bit of every bit of old epoxy off and re-glue it to the new wood it just ain't never as strong as it was that first time you glued it but now you put a couple screws in there too and man, that thing will go nowhere ever. Shouldn't say that. <laughs> It'll be stuck good, let's say that. that means we all know what that Bobo timer means so I'm gonna get busy I'm gonna drill the rest of them out I'm gonna get this sanded today maybe I'll make another movie when I get to gluing them things in so tune in later for another episode of Bobo vision same Bob time 
Saints Bob Station.